Second video from me uh, down at Imperial College today uh, where I'm working on the uh, creative design course here for the first year undergraduate uh, students. Uh, right, so something else I've been doing today is doing some more work with the graduate teaching assistants to support them in developing their facilitation skills. And so uh, what I did was I asked uh, four of them what were the challenges that they are currently facing and uh, what would they uh, like to develop in terms, of their, in terms of their practice. And some really interesting things came out. Uh, I'm not gonna go into any specifics of any individual person, but one interesting topic is the idea of are they supposed to be teachers or are they supposed to be coaches? And one of the things that I've been trying to encourage is the idea that they don't necessarily need to be subject matter experts in order to support the students in their work. So um, I asked the GTA to think at this moment, is what the student looking for technical answer or support in finding the answer themselves? So that's been one interesting thing. Uh, I have been uh, talking to everybody about the uh, guided plenary technique, uh, which is something that I uh, learnt on the Engineite project that I was involved with earlier on this year. And it is the technique of taking an individual person, working with them in front of a group, asking them what their issues are, and then going to the group and facilitating a conversation with the group to try and find solutions to those issues and then presenting those solutions back to the individual who started the conversation. And I've been talking to the, the GTA team about how we can do that with uh, um, groups of students. And finally, on the issue of whether to correct students' work uh, when you can see them developing an idea that might not be plausible. And I think the important issue to think about here is, um, is the student asking for help? Uh, what is their challenge rather than what is your own challenge because when you go in and start correcting the solution that the students have proposed then it becomes about you whereas if you ask them what are they finding difficult it becomes about them there is of course the opportunity later on to correct their work and if they are asking you to correct their structural work then go ahead and do that but i think it's interesting to think about what is the most appropriate intervention way to intervene with the student at any given time. More notes from me uh, tomorrow.